Hello, wanderers of the world. Welcome to another fascinating exploration into the realms of science. Today we're diving into a truly mind-expanding concept, the Gaia Hypothesis. Picture this, Earth, our home, not just as a rock hurtling through space, but as a living, breathing, conscious entity. Yes, you heard that right, Earth alive. This is the core of the Gaia Hypothesis. It's a theory proposed by an audacious scientist named James Lovelock, who dared to view our planet from a wholly different perspective. He suggested that Earth isn't just a passive stage where life happens, but an active participant in the drama of existence, influencing and being influenced by the life it hosts. Imagine the implications of such a view. It compels us to redefine our relationship with our planet, to think of our actions not just as affecting an inanimate object, but a living being. Now you might be wondering how can our planet be alive? Before we delve deeper, take a moment. If our explorations pique your interest, think about subscribing and hitting that like button. Your support ignites our curiosity, enabling us to journey further into fascinating territories. It helps us to unravel more mysteries and bring these captivating insights right to your screen. So go ahead, give us a thumbs up, and join us on this voyage of discovery. All right, now that we've got that sorted, let's dive deeper into the Gaia hypothesis. In the late 1960s, a British scientist named James Lovelock proposed a revolutionary idea. This idea was born out of his work with NASA where he was involved in the ambitious quest to determine if there was life on Mars. Lovelock's task was to develop instruments sensitive enough to detect even the slightest sign of life on the Red Planet. As he delved deeper into this challenge, he began to ponder upon a fundamental question. What distinguishes a living planet from a dead one? This question led Lovelock down a path that would eventually culminate in the birth of the Gaia Hypothesis. Named after the ancient Greek goddess who personified Earth, the Gaia Hypothesis proposed a radical perspective on how we view our planet. According to Lovelock, Earth is not just a mere rock floating in space hosting life. Rather, it's an intricate system where the living and non-living components are intertwined so closely, they work together to maintain a habitable environment. From the smallest microorganism in the deepest ocean trench to the vast expanses of the Amazon rainforest, every element of the biosphere is part of this grand, self-regulating system. The Gaia hypothesis suggests that Earth's biosphere, atmosphere, oceans and soil form a complex interacting system that can be thought of as a single organism. This organism in a sense is self-regulating, adjusting its environment to maintain the conditions necessary for life. This includes everything from global temperature and ocean salinity to the composition of the atmosphere. What's more, Lovelock believed this system is capable of self-healing. Much like an organism can heal a wound, the Earth can recover from damage to its environment, given time and the cessation of harmful activities. This idea, as radical as it was, offered a new way of understanding our relationship with the Earth. No longer were we separate entities living on the planet, we were integral parts of the planet itself influencing and being influenced by the system as a whole. In essence, Lovelock suggested that our planet behaves much like a living organism. This was the birth of the Gaia Hypothesis, a fascinating concept that forever changed the way we perceive our home, the Earth. Over the years the Gaia Hypothesis has evolved and sparked significant scientific and philosophical debates. From its initial conception it has grown into a multifaceted theory that has left an indelible mark on a range of disciplines. In the realm of biology the Gaia hypothesis has pushed scientists to reconsider the traditional understanding of life. It proposes that all life forms on Earth are interconnected and function collectively to sustain the optimal conditions for life. This has led to a more holistic approach to studying life, where every organism no matter how small, is seen as an integral part of the whole. Geology too has felt the influence of the Gaia hypothesis. It has introduced the idea that the Earth's geological features are not just inanimate objects, but are part of a living, self-regulating system. This has given birth to a new field of study, termed geophysiology, which explores the interaction between the Earth's physical and biological processes. In the realm of philosophy, the Gaia hypothesis has inspired a shift in our understanding of our relationship with the Earth. It encourages us to see ourselves not as separate from nature, but as an integral part of it. This has profound implications for our ethical and moral responsibilities towards our planet. Yet, the Gaia hypothesis has not been without its critics. Some argue that it is unscientific, lacking empirical evidence. Others say it is overly anthropomorphic, attributing conscious intention to the Earth. 
Despite these criticisms, the hypothesis has received widespread support for its holistic view of the Earth and life on it. The impact of the Gaia hypothesis is far-reaching, influencing not only our scientific understanding but also our worldview. It has sparked a paradigm shift, challenging us to question our place in the world and our responsibility towards it. Whether you agree with it or not, the Gaia hypothesis undeniably offers a unique perspective on our relationship with Earth. So, there you have it, wanderers. A brief journey through the intriguing concept of the Gaia hypothesis. We've delved into the fascinating idea that our Earth is not merely a lump of rock hurtling through space, but a living, conscious entity, akin to a superorganism. We've traced the birth of this hypothesis from James Lovelock's early musings in the mid-20th century to its evolution into the compelling scientific discourse we engage with today. We've seen how this concept has transcended the confines of academic circles and permeated the collective consciousness, sparking lively debates and fostering a fresh perspective on our relationship with our planet. We've also examined the impact of the Gaia hypothesis, how it has influenced ecological thought and inspired a generation to view Earth as a complex, interconnected system, worthy of protection and respect. It has served as a catalyst for change, prompting us to rethink our actions and their potential consequences on this living entity we call home. So what can you take away from this exploration? Perhaps a new appreciation for the world around you, a renewed sense of responsibility, or simply food for thought. Whatever it may be, keep that spark of curiosity alive. Thank you for joining us in this exploration. If you've enjoyed this journey, please subscribe and share our content. Keep wondering, and we'll see you in our next exploration.